What's up guys, this is Fern here. Sorry there's been a bit of a delay with the video. I've been working every day, um, pretty much, uh, or college, and it's been really busy, so I haven't been able to do one, but now I have a little bit of time, I thought I'd throw one in. Um, first of all, I'm just going to start off with this animation, self-animation, I'm still doing it. Don't worry, it's looking nice. I'm not going to go too much into it. Um, and I'm at about 30 seconds with it, and it's looking fucking... Sexy, and I'm not going to show you much about it anyway. I'll keep that open because I'm going to do some of that after this. This tutorial is going to be about um, using cameras in Cinema 4D. Now, it's not going to be a basic short tutorial, but you know, some people don't know how to use them, so why not? So, I'll just wait for this to load. And it's going to literally be the basic tutorial because you don't need to know much about cameras. It is literally a two second thing, but. I'll just add a box in just so you can see. Um, got a box. If you want to click on here, it inserts a camera. Now this is sort of third person view. You can zoom out, do whatever, and you can see where the camera is sort of pointing to. Um, if you click this little button here, it turns white, and it's a first person view. So I can move this now to about here, turn it off, and it's somewhere different. So you can sort of look at 3D, uh, 3D, third person and first person view of the camera, and you can, you know, you can adjust it that way if you want. You know, just move it about, turn it to first camera, or you can just go for um, first person and um, rotate it as you would the normal tool. So you can zoom in, zoom out, um, pan, or rotate. So. That's all well and you know know how to use the, the camera now. To animate it is exactly the same thing. Go to where you want it to start. So I want it to start here. Make sure the camera is selected. Hit a keyframe down. Move forward. We'll go to 40 frames and go to somewhere else. And we'll zoom out and pan it to here. And click a keyframe again. And we'll go back down again. and keyframe and then what it will do is if I go to third person again as you can see the camera does this movement for what I've set it to now what you can do is you can adjust these if like you think oh shit you know that's too steep you can actually grab the points and move them but this will obviously change your camera um, so if I just leave it there and go to first person this is what it will look like So it'll go one, two, um, where did it, oh, oh, there's only two, one, two. And that's basically how you animate a camera. It's not hard at all, you don't need to set all this stuff. Um, but what you might want to do is, um, and I'll, I'm going to actually open up one of my recent projects, actually, because this is a perfect way to show it. If you're doing first person animations, for example, this is where this will come in handy. Now, this is actually the self animation that I'm actually doing, uh, one part of it that you haven't seen. Anyway, uh, where is he? There we go. Me. If I go to the camera, which I've put into his head, um, make sure the move tool selected and this tool selected. Um, and then you have these orange little dots around the edge. And what that'll do is that will make like zoom in and zoom out, but it's not like this zoom in and zoom out. Oops, I'm drawing my Um it's sort of like a focus. You can zoom all the way in or you can zoom all the way out. And if I zoom all the way out, you can see everything stretches. So say this was standard, which it pretty much looks standard, if you grab it by the point and move it to the right, you can sort of zoom it out a bit, not making it too stretchy, but you can see the hands. Because if you're going to do a normal first person animation, the hands are going to be all big because you're going to have to drag them to his face and it can look a bit shit. So if you just zoom out, you know, you can see a bit more and, um, you know, it makes it a little bit better. But that's just what you can do with a camera. And you know what I'm actually going to do now? I'm actually going to run through this little animation. I'm going to be naughty, but I'm going to do it <laughs> just, to, just to see what you're, you're into. It, it, just so you know what's going on. And again, no endorphin shit, don't worry. I've done all this myself. I've made the controls. 
and I've got keyframes on them. You know, you can check my rigging tutorials. This is how I rig. I, you know, um, the root. It's not endorphin because endorphin will have keyframes for every single frame. So, excuse my dogs, but here it is. I'll just click play and let it do its thing. So he's looking over, and he springs off his legs. Forward flip, yep, land on the ground, fucking throw knives. Oh shit. It's getting to the stage where it can't handle it. Anyway, I do it myself. So he flips over the box, chucks two throw knives, boom in his head, and down he goes. <laughs> um, that was all done by hand, obviously. All those people that say, oh, you're using dolphin, you're using dolphin, no shit, you're your shit, you're all using the dolphin, all, the, all that crap. Um, here you go. <laughs> you wait till you see there's going to be a bit more, you know. I think the only endorphin thing I did use is a run, but that's just literally, if I just turn the camera, ugh, that's just somebody running past this, this window, and that's it. But you see that for about a second and that's it. The main animation is done by hand, and that's what I'm getting to. The, the other thing outside that doesn't fucking matter. That, that could survive without it, to be fair, but I thought I'd just throw it in anyway. But yeah, there it is, guys. Just a little snippy um, of the little self animation, which is coming soon, hopefully. Um, trying to get it done as soon as I can. I'm going to do a bit after this. Um, and I'll get it out as soon as I can to you. And until then, I'll see you guys. Peace.